Hello, and welcome to Snap Center Software, NetApp's latest data protection and manageability solution. You can use Snap Center to perform backup, clone, restore, and verification jobs for multiple applications and databases, which are combined into a single, easy to use interface with powerful roles and protection. In this video, we will show you how policies can be created and applied on a consistent basis, whether we're protecting one application or database or multiple with the same protection needs. An important challenge in managing the protection of data with varying needs in terms of schedules, retention, replication, is ensuring that those requirements are met consistently. Let's take a quick look at the organization of Snap Center to discuss some of the constructs we'll be working with. These items are the fundamentals of all your data protection and clone jobs. You interact with hosts, policies, and resources in every backup and clone operation you perform. Hosts are added into Snap Center that contain the applications or databases. Resources are the items on the host you want to protect or clone. Resource groups consist of one or more resources you want to protect that have the same protection requirements. A group can consist of resources on multiple hosts. Policies govern protection requirements such as schedules, retention, and replication settings. They can be created or copied and edited. Policies are assigned to resources or resource groups. When assigned to a resource group, all resources in that group will receive the same level of protection. Now, let's log into Snap Center and take a look at policies. The example we will use here is for Microsoft SQL Server, but the process we're showing would be the very same for any other application that Snap Center works with. Here you can see a number of policies that have been created to govern a variety of data protection needs. As you can see, Based on the context dropdown, these policies are specific to the Microsoft SQL Server environment. It would work the same if it were Oracle or Exchange. Policies can also be copied and modified. Let's take a look at the specifics for this SQL Daily Full Mirror Policy. Here you can see the policy name and description. Now we can see that this policy is for a full backup, though we can also configure it for a log-only backup or a full and log backup. Here you can see where we can specify what schedules we want to assign to the policy. In this case, it only has a daily schedule assigned to it. We can specify retention in terms of the number of backups to be kept or the age of the backups. As you can see, there will be a total of seven snapshot copies kept. This policy has been configured to perform a snap mirror update after the backup. We can choose to do either a snap mirror update a snap vault update, both, or neither, depending on the protection requirements of the data to be protected under this policy. If there are any scripts that you wish to have run before or after the backup, you would enter the paths to those scripts right here. Any other appropriate application or database settings may be specified here. A summary of the options you have chosen for this policy will then be displayed. Now that we've seen what a protection policy covers, let's take a look at the best way to use it. Resources are those objects that Snap Center can protect. They can be databases, applications, Windows file systems, etc. When a host is added to Snap Center, the appropriate Snap Center application plugin ensures that these resources will be discovered automatically. As you can see, there are a number of ways to view these resources. The default view is the individual resource level, in this case, the per database level. One of the other views is the resource group. You can see there that there has been one resource group created. A resource group is a collection of resources with common protection requirements. If we click on the large market retail resource group, we can see that there are two databases assigned to this group. If we click on the Edit View Details button on the upper right, we can see that they are both protected by the SQL Daily Full Policy. Resource groups are backed up at the same time using the same policy. This provides consistent data protection. By the way, restores are at the individual resource level providing a high degree of granularity. Note at the top right we have a number of actions we can take such as adding, removing resources from this group, on demand or outside the schedule backup, or performing regularly scheduled clone jobs. 
In summary, we've seen how SNAP Center, through policy-based data protection, can provide consistent protection for many applications and databases. Thank you.